for at least 15 minutes. Come on. Uh, you sleep through anything, that guy. Anyway, can't get him out of bed, so what I thought was, while he's asleep in bed, I thought we'd do a smoko damper. Now, there's nothing better than come around 9.30, 10 o'clock, a bit of smoko, and what do you get? A nice damper. Now, you can put more or less of an ingredient in this damper, depending on who's eating it. So let's have a crack at a rum and raisin damper. It's easy. Now, first of all, let's get some things started. So I've got my little bowl here, and in this bowl, I'm gonna ferment, ferment some sultanas in some sweet rum. Now, I'm using sweet rum, and I'm gonna chuck about that many sultanas in there, which is roughly, I don't know, about that much. So these are just any old dirty old sultanas. You can use mixed fruit if you want to as well, which isn't too bad. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now, I've got a few of those in there. I'm gonna stick things in there like uh, imitation vanilla. So a little bit of sugar. That'll do. You don't wanna to put too much in there. Got a little bit of coconut left over here. There we go, a bit of coconut. Yeah, about that'll do. And then I'm gonna get some rum in here. Now this is black spiced rum, okay? This is a lot sweeter than normal rum, which I reckon is heaps better. Now I'm gonna put a good dollop of rum in there. Now I don't know how much that is, but like I said, whoever's eating this, you put more in if the adults are eating it and less if the children are eating it, okay? <laughs> so we'll mix that up. Now, to really get the flavor through this damper, I would sit that in the fridge for a couple of hours so that those sultanas absorb that rum, okay? So all those ingredients there will just soak it up and it'll really give it some flavor. But I haven't got time to sit around waiting because uh, Simon's gonna be up shortly and he's gonna be wanting, wanting to go. So, I've got my bowl. I'm gonna need things like some cream and some eggs. So I'm gonna grab them out of the fridge. All right, there's a couple of eggs in here and I've got some cream. All right, so two eggs in the bowl. In they go. One. And two. All right, so two fresh eggs there. Bit of the old cream, they say. Remember, always check the cream. Yeah, it's good. It's good. So we're just gonna put a dollop of cream in there like that. A good dollop. All right. I might just quickly mix those. All right, a bit of cream in there. And those eggs. Now we just mix them together so they come together nicely. All right, while that's happening, remember that's fermenting. Now I'm gonna stick some self-raising flour in here. So this is gonna be the, um, the uh, bulk of my damper. About that much there, like that. And we're gonna mix those ingredients through. Now remember, you've got a lot of moisture coming from those sultanas with fermenting in the rum, the cream, and the eggs, so we're not gonna need a whole lot to start with. All right, here we go. So, that's a little bit mixed in there. I might just put a little bit more flour in. There we go, about that much. And then we'll get the, our sultanas. Now remember, to do a really good one, they've been uh, fermenting overnight in the fridge. You put some glad wrap or plastic on top to seal it in, seal in all the goodness. Now I'm just gonna make a hole in the middle there and I'm gonna tip my mixture. Oh, it smells good already. Okay. Mix that up like that. Oh, that's starting to look pretty good now. Now you'll notice how that little bit of moisture has started to mix the ingredients together and it's becoming quite sort of damp. Maybe that's where they get the word damper from because it's like damp, damper. I don't know, I don't even know where the word damper comes from really. 
I know that once a jolly swagman camped by a billabong under the shade of a coolabar tree and he sat there and he sang and he watched and he made a damper. So there you go. We're good. Look at that. Let's get the camp oven out. There she is. Yep. Lid off. And there's our special little tin. And we're going to grease our tin up. Perfect. A little bit of flour in so it doesn't stick. All right, there we go. We'll just get rid of a bit of that excess. We're ready. Let's put the damper in here. Look at that. Let's get this in the camp oven, some coals on top, and get it cooking. Ah, all right. I'm gonna put a few here. All right, not too many, but just enough. We'll get that little sucker cooking and it'll be done before you know it. All right, I reckon she's ready to rock and roll. So let's have a look in here, get rid of that. Oh, definitely, 100%. Look at that. Oh, there she is, all ready to go. Look at that. Looks a bit rustic, that one. I'll get it out and break her open and see how it tastes. Something smelling good out here. Oh, you crawled out of your caravan. <laughs> it's going on over here, mate. I can smell something good from over there. All right, here we go. We've got a bit of a feed going on for you. Oh, look at you go. Nice work, buddy. Nice work. Have a guess what this one's called. Jason's special damper, no? Have a smell. Ooh, there's a bit of rum going on there, maybe. You're on to it. Ooh. Smells good. It smells great. What about rum first thing in the morning, but we're going with that. Perfect. And to be honest, I've been laying in there watching the sun come up, you know, so I did see you cooking stuff. <laughs> so I'll just time it when he's just about done. <laughs> oh, clever. Here we go, mate. Look Put at butter you. on top. Look at you go. I've never done one of these before, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Thanks, Gobba. Rum and raisin, eh? You're my favourite ice cream. Wait on, mate. Wait on. My favourite ice cream. My favourite ice cream is rum and raisin. Is it? Cheers, mate. No, well, maybe it's your favourite damper. <laughs> That's all time, dude. It's good, isn't it? It's very good. There you go, guys. You'd be surprised what you can put in a damper. <laughs> Cooking.